So let's talk about the components related to these systems. We're gonna start with a very basic diagram and break it down with the main components. Remember, those boxes could be inside or outside and almost any size, but are heavy, heavily insulated. First, we're gonna be identifying the condensing components. These could be located outside on the ground, could also be up on a roof of a building or they could be directly on top of the cooler or freezer box itself. One unique thing about these units is that their size is commonly expressed in terms of horsepower, not tonnage like you would be common with HVAC's regular systems. But remember, these are the most like split systems or package units, including the same components, a compressor, a condenser coil, and a fan. Now let's open up the unit and look inside um, at the interior components. And the most uh, often that's gonna be called the unit cooler, but we can directly relate that as the evaporator. The size, of, the size of this unit is often expressed in one of two ways, either in British thermal units or BTUs for short, or simply by the number of fans it has. And we'll see some examples of this shortly. They are installed in the ceiling or the upper walls in most units. Again, this diagram is very basic, but hopefully it helps you understand how these systems are constructed. The inside and outside units are connected by the line set. Again, this is uh, the, the same as a line set in a traditional system, right? And here we see all the major components labeled and the refrigerant flow is being shown for you. It might, might help to see some of these units in claim photos. Uh, so let's take a look at some actual systems um, so we can identify them if you see them on a claim. We're gonna start with this type of condensing unit. This is a claim photo of one of the units on top of a uh, commercial roof. Here's another unit. Notice how they do look different than a split system condenser. They're generally boxy in shape. They're, they're gonna be smaller. They do have a coil, but it will be much less pronounced. The coils can be smaller since they are being used for smaller spaces in most cases to uh, cool and the size of the coil is mainly for efficiency, not capacity. And these units don't fall under the same efficiency guidelines as split systems. Here's a unit opened up and you can see the compressor, which does appear to be uh, similar to a split system, but they will be operating on different refrigerants will help them reach those colder temperatures. Those refrigerants might be R407, R134A, or even possibly R404, just to name a few. Here's a good shot of the coil side of the units and you can see those coils would be at risk of damage due to their exposure. Now looking on the right side of the screen, we see the inside of a walk-in unit and we see the example of a two fan unit and notice how it is installed where the wall meets the ceiling, which is the most common. Here we see a larger unit, newer three fan units opened up. We can see the wiring and the electronic controls. 